Welcome to one of the strangest companies in the world, Ward's Natural Science Establishment of Rochester, New York, whose dozens of catalogs list for sale such items as the circulatory system of a mud puppy, a fossilized insect millions of years old, human skeletons, the list goes on and on, and even the proprietors of this unique organization have only a general idea of the many varied and usually amazing articles the sprawling plant has in stock. For example, take minerals. They have rocks here of every type from every corner of the world. And remarkably enough, there's a steady demand for just about all of them, from geologists, mineralogists, schools, and collectors. You want corundum from the Transvaal? They've got it. Whatever it may be, they've got it. From laboratories, there come endless calls for skeletons of all kinds. This is a Columba Levia, pigeon to you. The scholarly craftsmen employed here can assemble the bones of any creature that ever lived and in record time. They're all devoted to their novel occupations so much so that many of them spend their vacations up in Maine, catching dogfish, which are inedible, but happen to be in big demand for biology classes. Here's a technique these people originated, one for preserving specimens like frog skeletons in crystal clear plastic, so they can safely be handled and inspected by students or just plain hobbyists for generations to come. Anybody need a gorilla skeleton? It's no joke. They can't come anywhere near supplying the people who do need them. The 67-acre establishment has been described as a general store for the scientific world, and some of the smaller merchandise has to be mounted on slides. More than 2,000 of the items it handles are visible only through a microscope. Still another department, where they make plaster models of every imaginable sort of biological specimen. This is a greatly enlarged reproduction of the innards of a tapeworm. And these are some of the dogfish caught up in the waters of Maine. If nature spawned it, eventually it'll wind up here and a trip through the place gives one a better idea of just how many different kinds of living things nature has produced. Leeches and Terabratellas, Lingula and Angriolimax, Yucca and Cyclops, Dragonfly Medium, Bullfrog Large, Pigeons Plain. No, probably no other place like it on Earth. 